Dion yet. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. My husband met somebody at the store. And then he asked the person, he said, ah, he hear the person with the talk in front of him, like, hey, Obon, where are you from? <laughs> but Obon, look, uh, he said you from, he said you from, where he said from Gambia. Ah, ah. My husband was like, ah, ah, ga, ga. So he told the man, say, oh, but you cannot even lie where, eh? Because your accent that you say you're in Nigeria, but you say you're in Gambia. How can Gambia and Nigeria even mix? I mean, just look at the it's your a local government eh, budget alone. The whole country of Gambia is swallow up. All right, so yeah. Hey, me, I'm celebrating Nigeria. Oh. Yes, so. Ah, Nigeria for real. Nigeria for real. Nigeria for real. I don't know about you. Proud to be a Nigerian, green, white, green. Green is good. Check the flags in the world. Most of them red, they, they meaning that they fought our war. But me, I love green. Vegetation. Green is life. So, anyway, so I hope you are enjoying your day today. If you are in Nigeria and you have not decided to be in Nigeria yet, maybe because of the thing that you are hearing. Let I even talk for our language. So, even you say we don't be in Nigeria because, you know, I go somewhere and I, you know, I was at the store yesterday and the day for yesterday. And I think they were from. From Europe, so they are speaking their language inside the store. The Chinese will see their language inside the store. So me, I can't wonder. Say, how me go they shape to speak my language? The way, same way they, they take make her this, uh, want to uh, understand Spanish, understand Kilonje, uh, Shingo people. Oh, they are not gonna understand this one today. Now one of the Nigerian language in our pidgin, I will talk today. So make them they listen. Like get now here, so so uh, Nigerian flag, green, white, green. Our coat on hand. Uh -huh. What is the right idea? You know, see her? Yes. Let's talk about Nigeria. Make her talk about Nigeria to now. Nigeria, I call them the giant of Africa. Not to me call herself so. It is known and it is regarded as the giant of Africa. When, when I was buying this flag, the lady was like, Why are you so happy about Nigeria? I said, Because I am wrong. I born here. I go primary school here. Yeah? Middle school, high school, secondary school, boy, dear, college, dear, married, dear, born, dear. So, what are they talk? All my food, what I know for life in Nigeria. All the education, where I be where, where, where they take it. You, you know, I make a just have to the education what Nigerian people give me. So, all my teachers, they went from where? Nigeria. Oh, Mrs. Phillips. Let us have a guess. I salute you now. Jehovah 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 Primary School, we move, and Moshalashi, I salute all of you now. You all contributed to my life. This Nigeria like every year. So let's talk about Nigeria. Arise of your compatriots. I know an election is coming up soon. But me, I'm not interested in election. Me, I'm just interested in that country. Because God does not make mistake. God, you see this table we are today, so that prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Ah, when I say green, vegetation, green is life. See food, see food, see. I just want to just paint the little. And you hear me so? This one I paint clear food. This one I the we take it just they they they, they, they picked it. This is not even food. You know this is not food. This is this is what they take. They picked it. Nothing tiny. This one is tiny tiny. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to Nigeria, I don't think any part of the world get food like we get you because green is good. And I hear me so. So let's talk about Nigeria again. Giant of Africa. Nigeria has 525 lang native languages, including Ibibio. Abadie, Ibibio, Kehire, Mpo, Oso, Bangoni, Sheda, Dalewa. Eh, eh, Karo, eh, Kale, eh, Po, Uro, eh, Makabo. Shele, Shele, Ndao, Shele, Shele, De Londa. Eh, Kedu, Ode, Mma, Bikonu. Eh, stand for that side, make a big call. Eh, eh, Aosa, Bukon, say, Sanu, Sanu, De Soa. Wait, I beg you now. But, dear, my people, now, they, dear, run away. We plenty 525. Ah, you cannot. Now, that kind of country go easy one person, we get one language. I was having a con Many more languages you get. I go take it, we rule over people, we get 525. We know who's a be ourselves. Even a part of where I come from. So, skip talking about Nigeria. Nigeria has so many natural.
natural resources. Petroleum, don't even talk about that one. They say it's cracked ground small. Here, the thing we just wow, 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 wow. When I want to try, you don't even need to go anywhere. Just put small, just put small something. The fish will they come. They follow you. See, make can follow you go out. Go now, go front. The crab, we don't know. Just sit down for there. You go see crab begin to come up on inside ground. I don't know what is happening there, but what's going on? That was it. Is it a snail? Whatever you want. Nigeria get them. For plenty, plenty. This is not just shukulu. This is not nothing. Sir, that has this one a tiny But I will tell you about this food. This way, I am celebrating Nigeria. Nigeria go be sixty-two. Do you understand your country? Do you know about Nigeria? You may not be from Nigeria, but well, I am introducing to you Nigeria. N i g e r i a, the giant of Africa. The largest, you know, me always they brag about that one. No, no one sabi. No, no one know how they brag always say Nigeria is the largest black country on the face of the earth. I'm not talking on the face of the Africa, no, on the face of the earth. Put all the earth together. The largest black economy now Nigeria. The largest black country in the world. Now Nigeria. Now you so I am glad. Say my mama na Nigeria. My papa is na Nigeria. They born me for Nigeria. I grew up for Nigeria. I eat Nigerian food. Plenty. And I'm in Akwaibo. I was born in Akwaibo. Kusu brain brain mumbo no kwaibo mo. Kima na Akwaibo me no, eh no riba kofere. Nso ka nso ke fo wotan, afere ke. Mba kong paro. Akwe no un divya. Nini, nini, nini bo. A plus 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 plus. Ken divya. Ama se mba. So talking about Nigeria, make can go back to talk about Nigeria. The federal capital now, the national capital now, federal capital territory, Abuja. I won't talk small. Talk English is small. I talk my own pigeon because now pigeon now in the main thing. Make we now wait there so make we now begin to go and learn pigeon. Pigeon now world language too because if the largest black country in the world they speak pidgin we know go learn only spanish and chinese now make now also begin to learn is to speak in pidgin eh they, they learn english because english not kidding pidgin i go speak pidgin today make now open are here so the largest economy k africa ado nigeria the richest man and woman in the continent of africa Ali Dangote, Allah Kija, my girl. That's what I'm talking about. So, are you telling me Nigeria? You, you won't, you won't come talk about Nigeria for me. Who won't, who won't open mouth for Nigeria? Who gonna tell me? Who won't open mouth for Nigeria? Nobody. I don't want here poet John Pepper Clark. Okay, Ben Okri, Cyprian Ekwesi, and when we talk about sports. Basketball with day day. Akim. Olumi day day inside. And my point now, Isaac, make a talk. This is new generation. Isaac Okoro. It is day day. The new people, even look at that NBA for America, go, they see Nigeria, they just they drop inside. They drop inside. Nigeria don't they take class though. It's not possible. Eh? When they talk about brain surgery, Nigeria day day. Talk, <laughs> look, in America, you say, medical doctor, we fool, we plenty grab. What are you talking about? All over the world, Nigeria did it. Writers, you want to talk about China and Chiebe? Things fall apart. Mm -hmm. And then my girl, Chimamanda, 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 Chimamanda. Girls know they take class. Nigerian girls know they take class. I said Nigerian girls know they take class. You see this post? You see my girl, I call her bullets. I can't remember her name, but her name I call her. Because I don't know her because I call her bullets. When the girls start like this, they say, what, what? Before they say, quick, um, uh, even when she's slow, the people say, ah, she's slow. By the time they look back, the boy, the girl don't go. Bullet, my girl. My girl, I salute you. You are a true Nigerian. And I like the finish. They go finish one and they go carry the flag. Now you make me go say, ah, make her follow. Shine my country. Shine my Nigeria. Mm -hmm. All right. Human rights. Okay, okay. Make a. It means I start to breathe for this one. Hey. Human rights. Afro BT. Fela. You know, hear me? The sound that was never before he came, he landed it. The world has accepted Afrobeat. 
Make I not even talk about this new generation. Ah, yeah. These people, they make me, in fact, I proud. I went to, in fact, I don't go so many, so many stores for here for America. We went to Florida. The music they play, I said, this is Nigerian music now. I think I went to Ross or where. They, they play music, I said, this is Nigerian music. They did all. You did, you did. We see kid. We see kid. That is my kid, my kid. Yeah, yeah. We see kid. I think one you said, you're my kid. We see kid. You did. You know, I did bad for these people because they're putting Nigeria on the map. Green is good. As much as the world wants you to take your green passport and throw it away, as the world wants you to throw your Nigerian flag away, may I say a lie? I go cover her. Eh? This one. Ha! If you know how this flag take water, you go not say I see this is a serious business, man. We kid. There we go. Shall they and do my girl when I they grow up? Eh? I can't remember that song, but you know when we grow up that time, Omo, shall they do a bow? You know, I greet you, I greet all of you now. We put na <laughs> Bona boy, that one I'm a boy boy. Bona boy boy, I'm a boy boy with that one. Bona boy. If I don't call your name, <laughs> I, I don't go do it. I don't call this one. I don't go do it because it will be like saying all the boys, boys just they rain. Uh -uh. All the boys, boys no rain. Tiwa savage. Mercy, my girl. Uh -huh. You see, these are the people who are putting Nigeria. Sinachi! Sinachi! Make I call your name where we're Sinachi! Make I call your name where we're girl. These are the people who are putting Nigeria on the map. Nigeria are green. Nigeria are good. Green vegetation. What do you, which food you want find? We no day for Nigeria. Which food? Tell me now. Which food? Okay. And maybe we can't talk about food. Like I said, this one a picketito food. Though. This one not be even food. This one a picketito. So this is not really food. This is you know our snack. You know here they they snack for potato cheese. They they snack for. I don't even know what they they snack. They say no. And they they call a snack. Biko. I beg come off road. Make you see. Do they they call snack jari? Eh? Now the thing they call snack be that. This one a small snack. Oh, a small snack. Oh. So make a come off the flag. Make a fit. This flag, I don't go come out. Okay? Make me like that. You see, I'm excited about my country. So if you don't know anything about Nigeria, this is just introducing you to the largest. I always tell people that when they want to talk, I say the largest black country on the face of the earth. God did not make a mistake. Making sure that I never in came out. Because uh, you know as a bina. Okay, let us go to how we snack. This is how we snack. I know you all are used to jollof rice, fufu, moi moi. If you have not followed me, I know I've done fufu, I've done moi moi on my page. So you want to go back and look at those. These are those are food. This one are snack. Just like I said, just a little bit. And we have so many fruits. Oh my God. I guess when I, when I go home, I'll go to the fruit market so I can show you the fruits like balu, mongoro, eh, awesome. Uh, you know, just name the food. Uh, uh, banana, or get there, uh, bad, bad. Uh, what did they call it? There are so many ones. I even stayed there and I remember, I can't remember their names. I was like, oh my god, bush mango, it did there. Bush mango. And there's this one that is like carroty and it's like a mango. Oh my god. Ah, sweet uh, pep pepper fruit. So many stuff. So many stuff. Nigeria is blessed. And I'm glad to go. So let's go to the snack that we have. And for peanuts, we do so many stuff with peanuts. So this is peanut peanut over here. And we also have peanut soup, peanut dip, you know, here where they do dip or poison dip. But Nigeria authentic, original, organic. Make us say that again. When you want to eat organic food, or go to African store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all heard me. Y'all heard me. If you want to eat organic real food. Will be no GMO, nothing modified, modi, nothing modified. Not. Go to African store. Mm -hmm. Again. Okay, so on your way to African store, I don't bring us out on that one. So let's look at what we have here. So here is popcorn, regular popcorn, but we know they eat popcorn just like that. We know they put sugar, they put uh, cheese, they put uh, orishi, orishi. No, it is just ordinary. Guguru atepa. You know, I'll call up our name because Chinese people they call their food their name. Mexican they call tamale. Tamale they know they call them corn wrap. No, they call. So make I call this one as we call it. Guguru atepa. Guguru. Guguru eh eh. Atepa. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, they eat them. Young people, this is your snack when you're watching movie. 
make your own guguru atekpa. You see this ekpa? I love it because I made it using my hair fryer. Guguru is it's so good. So I leave my skin on my ekpa. Ekpa, eh, eh, mansang. Can't eat ekpa, but we put mansang. You buy good ekpa. Mm hmm. Ekpa, guguru ati ekpa. So here, ha, my favorite. This one is daytime snack. Oh. This is Nigeria. <laughs> you don't know. No. We have daytime snack. We have evening snack. And we have night snack. We shall see. That's why I arrange it like that. This is daytime snack when I'm at work. So go and get me a snack. Guguru at ekpa. I go and get guguru at ekpa. Then when I'm going home, I'm up in the afternoon, sir. Yeah, it's like around 3, 4 o'clock. But your nipple go jai day because, you know, it's hot. So your nipple cannot stand at the sun. So your nipple go jai day. Boli at ekpa. But you know, it's the real, 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 real. You no, know, I mean, I'm a country girl now. I'm a country, countryside girl. It's the real, real, real acquire bomb. We don't use the manstang. We need code manstang. Ekpa. Manstang. We use oil. Red oil. Red palm oil. Full of vitamin D. You see, they tell you don't eat your palm oil. But they put it in their cooking. They put it in their candy. But this, they put it in their cream. But this is real vitamin D. So we take our bolly. Bolly. Rukum. Echo rukum. Mm hmm. I heard the chop out. You see? Bolly. Or. You can chop drink water. Mm hmm. And now they follow me. Come on. Get your snack on. You are invited to come and shop. Make your own. Get some peanut. The bus stop or whatever you make by yourself. Mm -hmm. So how do you eat your body? At the The same thing. You cut some body. Mm -hmm. And you take some mansa. Toss it after. Mm -hmm. And knock it. Mm. 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 Oh, no. You don't get mm -mm 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 -mm. it's happening here. Nigeria is 62. I am celebrating. Mm -mm. Happy birthday, Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria, now you give me food. Why are we going to celebrate? You might be from China. I don't know if you're going to be Oh, well, you're ready. I beg you, make us celebrate my country. Let's move to the next uh, snack. So, you see, this is the snack also that is midday, you know, like midday. Or evening snack, not night, but we are coming to so midday. I said Nigeria, we are so blessed. Why is this midday? Because sometimes midday or three, two, three is hot. So they always get gari. Which when you know when we get to college, we begin to call it cassa flakes, yoka. This is like yoka grain, yoka powder yoka powder. And we put cold water because it's hot. You know, Nigeria is a tropical place. Ah. But I don't see this be. Make a tell you now. Kuli kuli akam olole. Kuli kuli akam olole. Bolly. I don't go talk that one because that ain't coming from my mouth. You know, but that is how we grow up. Kuli kuli akam olole. Ha. Kuli kuli ma akam olole. Come on, let's kuli kuli la jo mo more. I love that kuli kuli. Mm hmm. Me interpret it for. Make you go Google it, translate Google it, interpret it, interpret for you. When it's your mother, the kuli kuli la jo mo more. I do what I'm seeing there, like I used to do. Like a whole babare. I live with a kuli kuli. Mm. Kuli kuli. Kuli kuli is made from peanuts and some flour. But this one is the spicy one. I can't bend the kuli kuli alata. Mm. Mm. So remember peanut bread? Peanut bread in America is with sugar. Everything I eat is sugar. But when I say organic, authentic food, no sugar. Here is a little sugar here. Wait. Kuli kuli epa. Mansa. Yen tui. Pepe. You get, you take a bite. And you take your gari. And follow it. Ah. Mm. Sole. Yang nam. No, yang boro, yang boro. Yang boro, kido. Who compare again? There's something that I missed here. It is called dokwa. Tan fili. Also made from peanut. So it's like peanut balls. Unfortunately, the lady I was talking to said she don't know it. Nigerian youth, when I don't miss, oh, 
There's what they call town feeling. When you meet Yalu Kushi Kuli Kuli, ask Yalu Kuli Kuli Kuli. Where is town feeling? I want to do what. So that is a Kuli Kuli Ate. 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 Then if Kuli Kuli Jare, you'll be all right. This is now. Let's go to the evening snack. This is snack when you are getting, you are going home. So when I'm going home from work, Yani is there because after they finish body, the next thing they're gonna do, this woman they move to board, they move to roasted corn. This is roasted corn and <laughs> ube, ebe, African plum. Oh my God, this is good for prostate. So your man out there, medicine. See when when I say green is good. God has blessed Nigeria. We don't need to go nowhere. Yeah, ube is good for prostate. So that's a, a, a you know something that Nigeria gave the world, but the world has not really gotten to use it. They like to take the pills. Mm -hmm. Natural. So corn roasted. Very simple. This is evening snack. You see, we have noon. <laughs> Nigeria is blessed. Mm -hmm. This is now corn. Mm -hmm. Agbado, Ati Ube, mm hmm. She has been It's roasted. The taste is not over here. Nothing here is sugar. There's nothing here that is sugar. See? Nothing here is sugar. So that will be, you know, get second. Ah, African store. You're going to find it there, yeah? This is the street, this is the night street food. When I say night, and the people don't they they don't finish. This year who this now all the this year who drive now coro one pepper soup now coro one we will walk now coro one but mola mola come again see every part of Nigeria have their nice snack. Do you see that interesting? This year who is Igbo? Have you listened to the buy nice snacks? Eh? I don't know. But mola is suya. So this is just um beef like you can call it steak. I wouldn't call this thing steak. Whatever they call it. Steak is honey. Okay? And pepper. See your pepper? Okay, solid. 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 Do you know that onions is good for bacteria? How come Africa people, when they are doing suya, they put onions with it? We get sense now. You know, don't make them let you feel as if Africa people don't get sense. No, we get sense. From plenty, plenty, from so many times, we get sense. So, I'll come and say, okay, evening snack, suya. You just dip, you see, and your pepper. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Take your onions. Hold it. Mm, the crunchy. You really cannot enjoy the suya if you don't follow it with the onions. Mm. 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 I don't eat the other one. I beg. Get my nuggets. No nuggets. No, you see ya. But nuggets. You are right. Mmm. This you can find at, an, at any African restaurant, I guess. To just go there and say them. And it's here. Or African store too. Alright? So if you want to eat any of this, they are readily available. I'm not in Nigeria, but ha, um, and then the Lord will pay for me a table. The Lord should pay for me a table. But now, let's talk the thing that is very critical. Nigeria is good. God has blessed Nigeria. We appreciate our country. We know the culture. So let's talk to you. Who we'll say that you know Jesus? You know I'm gonna go there. I don't go there now. This uh, my cast not go complete today. How much of Jesus culture do you know? How much of Jesus culture do you know? Or do you wait for your pastor alone to tell you about Jesus' culture? How much of Jesus culture do you know? How much of heaven culture do you know? Is it there's a way that sinners right? To man, but that way will lead to destruction. You see, like every country have their culture, have their food, have the names, have everything. So also, Jesus said, "My kingdom is not of this world." 
So if Jesus is king of Lord of this world, and he said also, the kingdom of God is not Guguru and Epa. It's not Bole at Epa. It's not Kuli Kuli at Igari. Eishe Ebe, ye corn. It is not Suya and Onions. You see, the kingdom of God is love, joy, peace, righteousness. Everything that the world cannot give to you. That is what the kingdom of God is. Do you know the peace of God? Do you know this joy that he's talking about? Do you know this righteousness that he's talking about? Are you familiar with the Holy Ghost? Are you familiar with the blood of Jesus? But yeah, you're going to church. But yeah, you say, if they ask you now, oh, I'm a Christian, they give you part to sign. Check. Islam, Christian, other. You will quit to check Christian. But do you know your culture? Do you know what is obtainable in your culture? Can you boldly sing your national anthem? Can you boldly sing and talk about that which pertains to the place that you're going to? Because you see all this food. Food for the belly, belly for the food. After I eat all this thing now, eh, there's what we call waste product. They got to go. My body take what they need, but the rest got to go. Food for the belly, belly for the food. But one day, one day, you could just say, hey, she don't die, you. Then the people go cry. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. For a man, it's like grass. One day, we're going to pass away. But do I know? Do I have where I'm going? Do I know that place that I'm going? So I'm challenging you today. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, if you have not come into his kingdom, this is your opportunity. It's simple. Believe in the Lord Jesus that he came. Believe that he died. Believe that his, your sin can be washed away because of the blood that he shed. Believe that God sent his son because of your sin. Believe that you're a sinner. Then ask the Lord to forgive you your sin and repent. Seek for where you can get water baptism and seek the birth of the Holy Ghost too. And then begin to walk in the world. Get a Bible. Read about the constitution of where you're going. Where you're going is not a lawless place. Though. Don't let nobody fool you. They tell you about grace and grace and grace for let Grace of God. Is it appear to all men? Jesus. The grace of God, he came full of grace and truth. He said, this grace has appeared to us. Jesus has already come. But we got to get that book. We got to understand the culture of where we're going. We have to understand the kind of food that we eat there. We have to understand that our food is not what we, what we just put inside. Because what we put inside of us, Bible says, Jesus saying, it is not what you put inside that will destroy you. But it is what is coming out of you. Because they say, Jesus, why your, why your people know they wash hands before they talk? Jesus said, you are worried about nothing when people, when people mean nothing. The thing that is destroying us is what is coming from our heart. The constitution of God, love God with the whole of your heart, the whole of your strength, with every part of you. Number two, love your neighbor. Did you love your neighbor today? How did you talk to somebody today? Were you kind today? Who is your neighbor? That person that is next to you, by your people who in front of you at the cashier, at your job, at the restaurant. But you say, I don't know them. They are next to you. Your next door neighbor. Okay? Your next, don't look at the neighbor that is all the way over. Oh, my neighbor is there. The one over. Uh -uh. Your next door neighbor. Understand the culture of the country that you say you belong to. We don't belong here. Everybody, it is appointed for man wants to die. But when you get out of here, do you know where you're going? Do you have a destination? Are you thinking about that destination? If you are not, this is a wake-up call. So wake up, arise, O compatriots. Arise, O compatriots. God's call, obey. The master is calling. Serve him. Because he alone deserves to be worshipped. He alone deserves to be served. Stop giving all your strength and energy to these earthly things. Food is good. After you eat, without control, you're peace. After you eat, then one day you die. Then you rot. What happened to all the food? Gone. But let's give ourselves to that which does not perish. He said we should give ourselves to that which is imperishable. Give yourself to the word of God. Get a Bible. If you don't have a Bible, dear me, I will so love to send you one. Because that is the constitution of heaven. Every country has a constitution. So does heaven. Heaven is not a lawless place. No, it's not. If you go to the book of Revelation, he say he's coming back. He's going to judge this world. So don't think that he's not, you're, you're just going to be like, 
No, no, it doesn't really matter what I do. The grace of God covers me. The blood of Jesus has washed my sins away. No. Yes, for real. But there's a constitution. Understand the constitution. The constitution of heaven. Understand the food that you're allowed to eat in heaven. There's some food you should not eat. Fornication is one of them. You should not be eating it. Adultery, you should not be eating it. Lying, you should not be eating it. Man is which is wickedness, you should not be eating it. Okay? Fighting and backbiting, lasciviousness, licentiousness, idolatry, mm -hmm. covetousness. We should not be eating it. These are foods that God has said don't eat. These are things that God has said put them on. So today, I love Nigeria. But guess what? I love even more. Because God. I hope that you're going to understand the culture. Where you are right now. And the culture where you're going. Which is the ultimate. That is the best. And that is the awesome. And that is the greatest culture. That we need to know and invite. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Continue with me. Because I think on my other episode, I want to begin to introduce to you the fruits that I eat. You know, Nigeria, not Nigeria really fruit. But the fruits, the introduce you to fruit on Joy's Food Pharmacy. So Joy's Food Pharmacy, today we have Joy's Food Pharmacy together with Wisdom for Women and Wisdom for Everybody. Alright, thank you, ciao!